A few years ago, we took you to Covington County and introduced you to Brenda Gant. That was a few million Facebook followers ago. And not only has Miss Brenda garnered a huge audience, she's also inspired some like-minded people who love the traditions of Southern cooking, which leads us to Dothan. Step inside Kathy's Southern Kitchen for a true taste of the South that's absolutely Alabama. I was on Facebook one day and I saw this lady, you may have heard of her. Her name is Brenda Gant. I believe I have. Yes, I believe you have. <laughs> she just captivated me. And I decided I wanted to do it in my kitchen and be able to continue to teach people how to do simple recipes. You may have seen on social media some segments called Kathy's Southern Kitchen. Well, this is Kathy's Southern Kitchen. This is Kathy. Kathy's father and grandfather were both horsemen. Her family helped launch the state rodeo in Montgomery, so naturally on our day in her kitchen, we made a cowboy casserole. I love this because you can put it together in minutes. And as you can see, I've got a hot cast iron skillet that is smoking. That's right where you want it to be. And I've got a pound of my ground beef and that's going right in. Hear that? That's what I like to call applause. <laughs> it's clapping for me. While this is cooking, I'm gonna add about a half of a cup of the chopped onions. Okay, so our beef is done. What comes next in our cowboy casserole? What comes next is a small can of tomato sauce. This is just a mild chili mix, and all of this is going right in. I've got a little bit of sour cream. Now you can eliminate the sour cream if you want to, but when this cooks with this chili, you will not believe how good it is. And we can't have a casserole without cheese. And I've got some red beans. You can add any kind of beans that you want. Now this is a half of a cup of frozen corn kernels. And we've also got that. And that's our next layer. Now this is a half of a pound of frozen tater tots. And we're gonna top this casserole with these tater tots. Make sure that these are nice and golden brown and it's bubbly in the center and you've got yourself a cowboy casserole. If it seems as if Kathy's Southern Kitchen is right where she belongs, Kathy agrees. It's honestly a dream come true for me. I was born in Dothan and I absolutely love Alabama. And I just feel like, you know, I was born here and God willing, this is where I'm gonna die. Of course, you can't come to the peanut capital of the world, Dothan, Alabama, without talking about boiled peanuts. But here in Kathy's Southern Kitchen, those are just the appetizers. The rest is one Southern delicacy after another and all absolutely Alabama.